So topic 1.6 is about the momentum. What is the concept of the momentum and why we discuss this topic? It is useful to understand the impact of the object, the force exerted by the object when they collide with anything, when they hit anything, when they collide with anything. Example, this is a glass or example a wall. And I have two objects. One is one kilogram object. Another one is 10 kg object. And both of them are moving towards the wall. A one kilogram object is moving towards the wall. A 10 kilogram object is moving towards the wall. Both of them hit the wall as well. Which object you think will hit the wall harder or exert more force on the wall when it hits the wall? Which object you think will have a greater impact on the wall when it hits the wall? Yeah, in this case, you think B. Yeah, it can be true. That's right. But if I, yeah, in that case, if you know the, only the mass, then you can say, yes, it, it can be a 10 kilogram object or B. But what if I say the object of one kilogram was actually moving with a speed of 1000 meter per second. It's very fast. And the object of 10 kilogram is only moving with one meter per second. Can you now identify which one will have a greater impact? Which one exert more force on the wall? So in that case, you will say A. So basically your answer changes. Why your answer changes? Because now you know the speed as well. So we can conclude that when object hits the surface, or when objects collide with any surface, the two things are important. One is mass and another one is a velocity. So two things are very important to understand that which objects exert greater force when they collide. So what is the momentum? Basically momentum is a product of mass and velocity. So when mass of an object multiplied by its velocity what we get we get a quantity we know as momentum so what is the momentum of object a how i'll get the momentum of object a because the formula of momentum mass multiplied by velocity momentum is denoted by p letter p mass is m and velocity is v so what is the momentum of object a mass is one and velocity is 1000 so 1 multiplied by 1000 and what about the unit so it will be 1000 what about the unit as we know unit of the mass is kilogram and unit of velocity is meter per second so it will be kilogram meter per second so the momentum of object a is 1000 kilogram meter per second and what about momentum of object B? That is 10 multiplied by 1. So that is equals to 10 kilogram meter per second. So you are right that object A will have a greater impact as compared to object B. And why it will have a greater impact? Because it is having a higher momentum. Is it clear the concept of the momentum? The concept of the momentum, the base idea for momentum is that to understand the force exerted by the object when it hits something, that we can understand from momentum. The object which have higher momentum, they will have greater impact or they will exert more force as compared to objects which are having smaller momentum. And momentum depends on both mass and velocity. The product of mass and velocity is known as momentum and it is the vector quantity. So if something is a vector quantity, it is having a direction. So what is the direction? <coughs> the direction in which the object is moving here in this example is the direction of momentum. So that is towards 
right. Is it clear the concept of momentum? So another example If two objects are there, three kilogram object, three kilogram object, or uh, three kilogram object. This object is moving towards right with a speed of five meter per second. This object is moving towards left with a speed of five meter per second. If my question is, do they have the same momentum or different momentum? That's a question. Do these objects have same momentum or different momentum? So when we calculate the momentum of A, 3 multiplied by 5, which is equals to 15, yeah, that's good, Abdullah. 15 kilogram meter per second, but that is towards right hand side. Another object, three kilogram object, which is moving towards left. So momentum will be three multiplied by five. So three multiplied by five, that's equal to 15 kilogram meter per second. But that is towards left. So they don't have the same momentum. They have different momentum. Another object is there, a five kilogram object is moving towards right hand side. With a speed of three meter per second. So what about the momentum of this object? It will be five multiplied by three, which is equal to 15 kilogram meter per second so we can say object a and object c have the same momentum even though their masses are different you can see they have different masses even though their speeds are different but the product of mass and speed is same that is why and they're moving in the same direction that is why they are having the same momentum So momentum is a product of mass and velocity, and it also depends on the direction as well, because it is a vector quantity. Then we define another term, which we call as impulse. What is the meaning of impulse? It is change in momentum so impulse is basically a change in momentum if the momentum change for an object we say there is a impulse so example an object of mass two kilogram moving with a speed of five meter per second and it changes is a speed to seven meter per second. So object having a mass of two kilogram moving with five meter per second and it changes the speed to seven meter per second. So what is the starting momentum or initial momentum? Initial means the starting momentum. So momentum is calculated by mass into velocity. So mass is two and the velocity is five. So two multiplied by five. So initial momentum is 10 kilogram meter per second what about the final momentum
the mass of object is 2 and it is moving with a speed of 7 so 2 multiplied by 7 that's equal to 14 kilogram meter per second if i ask what is the impulse or change in the momentum so what is the impulse or the change in the momentum impulse is basically the difference in the momentum and how we can calculate impulse there are two formulas one of the formula is the final momentum minus the initial momentum So when final momentum minus the initial momentum, we get the impulse. Impulse is denoted by I. What is the final momentum of this object? It is 14. And what is the initial momentum of this object? That is 10. So 14 minus 10, that is equals to 4 kilogram meter per second. And impulse is having another unit. Another unit of impulse is Newton second. So I can say 4 kilogram meter per second or I can say 4 Newton second. Is it clear? This concept of the impulse, the change in the momentum or the difference in the momentum is known as impulse. Any doubt in this part? In the calculation of impulse? The unit of impulse is kilogram meter per second and there is also another unit newton second. But how you got the unit because the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second. So when you take the difference it will be kilogram meter per second you can write this or there is also another unit which is called newton second. And that is because impulse is having another formula from that formula we can say the unit is newton second. So I'll explain why Newton second from the other formula. But the main idea of impulse is basically the change in the momentum or the difference in momentum. Another example for the impulse or the change in momentum. object is moving on the horizontal surface and bounce back an object of mass 2 kilogram moving with 5 meter per second now it reverse or changes the direction and now it is moving with 7 meter per second this is initial the start and this one is the final and the question is calculate the impulse so first we have to because the momentum is a vector quantity so if one of them is positive the other one should be negative because the direction changes so if this one I'm the final one I'm taking as positive the starting one or initial one initial direction I should take as negative. So what is the initial momentum here? That is mass multiplied by velocity. So mass is 2 and the velocity is minus 5. So 2 multiplied by minus 5. What is the initial momentum? That's equal to minus 10 kilogram meter per second what about the final momentum so the final momentum the mass is 2 and the velocity is 7 
So two multiplied by seven, that's equal to 14 kilogram meter per second. Now, what is the impulse? Impulse is basically a change in momentum, which is final momentum minus initial momentum. That is also a formula to, formula to calculate impulse, which is final momentum minus initial. The final momentum, the product of mass and velocity is 14 minus the initial momentum is not 10, it is minus 10. Because this negative, this minus is for the formula. And this is for the direction. So it is minus minus, it will be plus. So 14 plus 10. What is our final answer? It will be 24 kilogram meter per second. So if it is 24 kilogram meter per second, what is the direction? Because in this one, the right hand side is negative in our example and the left hand side is positive and our final answer is coming out positive 24. So what is the resulting direction, right or left? The negative direction, as you can see, the negative direction is towards right and the positive direction we took as left and our final answer is positive. Our final answer is coming out positive, positive. We took in this example, I took positive as left and negative as right. And I'm getting my final answer as positive. So which direction, it means it is towards left. So it depends on which direction you consider according to the question. Is it clear this example? So when we calculate the impulse or change in the momentum, it is final momentum minus initial momentum. Another example, if an object is dropped, a two kilogram object moving with five meter per second, and hit the surface and bounce back. If it's a rubber object made up of rubber, it will come out at a higher speed with eight meter per second. So this is the initial, the start, and this one is a final. So if the, it's up to you, which one you want to take positive, the other one will be negative. But to make it easy, Always try to take the final direction as positive. So initial will be negative and it will make it easy to ca for calculation. So example, if upward, because final is upward. So upward I took as positive. So the downward direction will be negative. When I calculate the momentum, Initial momentum, which is the product of mass and velocity. So mass is two and velocity is minus five. Initial momentum will be minus 10 